Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to add a light and a switch to a three-way switch and receptacle system to create a lighted workspace in a room. First, let's look at the drawing. So here we are at the drawing, and this is the meter. And then here we have a 12 2 with ground cable coming over to this area of the room. See, this is a double door right here. And this big ass little three means a three way switch. Then, right next to it, we have a symbol here is a circle with a line going into the wall. Now, that's a single receptacle. Most receptacles are duplex receptacles, so they would have two lines going into the wall. This is a single receptacle, and the little s means switch. So this is a combination receptacle and switch. So right here we have a three-way switch and a combination receptacle and switch. And then right here we have a 12-2 with ground going to a new wall light. And then this is a cable, 12-3 with ground going to a three-way switch at this door. So we have a three-way switch serving this double door and a three-way switch serving this door. And then we have a 12-2 with ground going to a light in the middle of the room. And it says that this is a new workspace right here. And here's the note right here. Existing receptacle by double door to be removed and replaced with a receptacle slash switch combo. New wall sconce to be installed above new workspace to be controlled by switch on the switch receptacle. This video is for educational purposes only and only those competent in electrical wiring and electrical safety procedures should attempt this wiring. Make sure the electricity is off prior to starting. I have prepared this representation of the drawing that I just showed you and this is a three-way switch system right here. So if I walk into the room, I can turn the light on, and I walk over here, I can turn the light off. I can walk out of the room, come back in, turn it on, and across the room, and turn it off, and so forth. This is a good three-way switch system, and this is the new Klein outlet tester. It actually uses two AAA batteries. It has a whole readout, and you put it in there like that. You see the green light? That means that this is correctly wired, but that also gives you 121 volts AC, and it says correct, so you get a digital readout as well. We've seen that everything's working properly. We're gonna turn off the circuit breaker. We can once again try the uh, outlet tester and see it's off. There's no voltage there. You can try the light, and the light doesn't work, so that gives you a clue that the electricity is off. And here I have my meter. You put the red lead in the hot side. You put the black lead in the neutral side. And you get zero. You got zero volts right there. So that also tells us that the electricity is off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop and think. Okay, this is an important step when you're an electrician. You need to think about the best way to do something. Now, don't just rush in and do it any which way. Okay, so we're going to be replacing this receptacle with a combination switch and receptacle. And we're going to be putting a light up here. So, let's stop and think. Now, do we need to take this apart? When you think about it, no, you really don't need to. Do we need to take this apart at all? We probably don't. If we had a good electrician working on this, he labeled all these wires, so there shouldn't be any need to go into here and deal with this. So everything's gonna be here and here. This, this just to change out this to a switch and receptacle combination, and we're going to be needing to run a 12-2 with ground here, and we'll be putting on a mud ring for a light. We'll put another light right here. So now that we've thought about it and thought how to attack this the best, we're gonna start. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the face plate. This is a screwless face plate, or they call it screwless. And what I do 
in order to not lose any of these little small screws, is I, I put the screwless part right on it and click it down, and that way you're not going to lose any screws. So now I'm going to disassemble this and take it out. Before I go any farther, I'm going to use my fluke voltage detector. I'm going to put it all the way in here and just test it out again. So we've removed the receptacle. And this is the hot wire that went to the, to the receptacle. This is the neutral wire. And this is the ground. Now, for our combination switch receptacle, we're going to be using the same ground wire. We're going to be using the same hot wire which can go to either one of these terminals because this connects these two terminals. So the hot's gonna go right here, the ground's gonna go right here, the neutral will go to the silver terminal, and this is going to go to the black terminal of this 12-2 with ground cable that we're going to run from here to here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this so we have our cable going from the box for the two devices to the box for the light. And I'm going to put an L on this one right here because that this is the light cable. It goes to the light. Now if you look over here, this one says TVL for traveler. That's your traveler cable. And we got the red and the black going to the brass colored terminals here and here on the three-way switch. This is the hot wire, which is the one that comes from the meter. It says hot right there, and it's a 12-2 with ground. So I have all three of these cables marked. I got traveler, hot, and light. So we're gonna to need to put our ground with the other ground wires. So here we have five grounds all together. I'm gonna to take them all off. And take off the five conductor Wago lever nut. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a six conductor push in Wago. So here's this ground, the new ground from the light. So I took the five grounds out of the five conductor Wago lever nut, and I took the six grounds I have now because I have one from up here into a six conductor push in Wago. And we'll put the grounds back in the back of the box. And now for the neutrals. We have a three conductor Wago lever nut. So I'm going to take that off. Okay. And I'm going to use a five conductor Wago lever nut. And we're going to go one. Two, three, and here's the new one that's coming from the light. Okay, so that's all our neutrals. Now I'll push this into the back of the box. On this side of the combo device, we'll only need to hook up this hot wire that is hot all the time to one of these terminals. Okay, and the neutral, you flip it over, is going to the silver terminal. And this black wire that's coming down from the light will go to this terminal. And the ground goes here. The silver colored neutral terminal serves only the receptacle, as the switch does not need a neutral. Put the ground wire around the terminal in a clockwise manner and tighten it down securely. Then put the white neutral wire around the silver terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. Then I'll take the black wire that goes to the light and put it around the bronze colored terminal and crimp it and tighten it down securely. And here's the black common terminal that's going to take the wire that is hot all the time. We go around it in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. So we have the ground here, we have the neutral here, we have the hot wire that is hot in a switched manner coming up here on this brass colored terminal, 
and this is your line wire. This is the one that is hot all the time right here. Next, I'll push the wires into the back of the box. Then I'll install the mud ring. I'll do this by slipping it over the two devices and then screwing it to the 4x4 box. Next, I'll wrap black electrician's tape around the devices for safety. Then I'll install the screwless wall plate backing plate. And following that, I'll install the screwless wall plate. For the light, I'll connect together all the grounds and push them into the back of the box. Then I'll connect the white neutrals together and the black hot wires together. Now I'll push those wires into the back of the box and I will install the light. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker on and test out the new modified circuit. First I'll try a three-way switch, then the other three-way switch, and back and forth and back and forth. So the three-way switch is working great. Now the new switch is working great with the new light, and now the three-way switch again. And here, let's try both of them together. There, there it goes, that worked fine. Now let's test out the receptacle with a receptacle tester. And you can see there's one green light, which means correct. But you can also see that there's 120 volts AC. So it gives you a voltage rating as well. I'll put links in my video description for the new Klein receptacle and GFCI tester, which also tests volts AC. I'll put links for Wago lever nuts. I'll put links for the Leviton devices that you saw in the video. They are all federal specification grade, which is higher than residential grade. And that's what I recommend. I recommend you go up a step and, and get the specification grade. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.